It's not good. What's up guys, welcome back to Al's Homestead. So anyway, a couple days ago, the power went out. Uh, they got it back on later that afternoon, uh, early evening. So that was good. But as you can see, there's a lot of snow in the trees. Uh, that's really what caused the power outages. A lot of snow sticking to the tree branches. And usually when that happens, it falls off right away. The reason it's sticking so much is there's a layer of ice underneath all that snow. It rained before it snowed. Got a ton of rain and then we got a ton of snow and a lot of trees fell on the power lines. So glad to get that power back as soon as we did. However, we did lose uh, a tree. Well, really a bush, but it's basically a tree because of how big it is. Anyway, the chickens are doing pretty good out here in the coop. But as you can see, the snow is just covering the trees. That over there is the bush that fell down. There's the old chicken tractor, chicken coop. Uh, we're not using it this winter, as you can tell. It's not good, that's for sure. So the morning we woke up after the big storm, the snow was still falling a little bit, but most of it had fallen. Uh, this bush was bent over kind of about halfway, I'd say, to the ground. And then uh, later that afternoon, shortly before our power was restored, uh, I heard a big crack. I looked out the back window, and uh, sure enough, this had fallen all the way down. So that's a bit of a bummer because uh, they were really nice bushes, uh, really nice windbreak, and this just kind of puts a big gap, big hole right in the middle of them. And I'm just hoping we don't lose any more of these bushes uh, to the snow. Earlier this afternoon, I uh, put some Long Island cheese pumpkins I grew this summer in the oven to roast. Uh, hopefully those are gonna roast up nicely. Uh, actually, I was only able to cut into one pumpkin uh, even though I used uh, a pretty sharp knife that we just got this year, it's been sharper than any knives we've had in a while and I couldn't cut into it. So I guess it's got a pretty good thick skin for storing a long time if you like uh, growing pumpkins that have good long storage lives. Anyway, I got the seeds from uh, MI Gardener. If you've been following the channel for a decent amount of time, you would know that uh, they're probably my favorite seed provider. But anyways, yesterday we got uh, even more snow. Uh, today, woke up to maybe three more inches on the ground. So it is quite deep by now. The chickens have been staying pretty cozy in their new coop. Uh, I'm really glad we built this. They definitely could not have all fit in the old chicken tractor. Looks like Cackle might need to lay an egg. One thing I've really noticed about the chickens is, is that the barred box like to be out and about exploring, walking around on the trails, and the new chickens, the younger flock, uh, they prefer to stay huddled up inside. Hopefully everyone watching this has power and is staying warm. So thanks for watching today's episode of Al's Homestead. If you've had any trees fall over and all the snow we've been getting, let me know down in the comments below. I'll see you in the next episode of Al's Homestead.